Tukisalia hapa jijini Nairobi baada ya madai yaliyochipuka kumhusu msajili wa mahakama Gladys Sholei mapema hii leo Sholei alikutana na kamati ya bunge kuhusu haki na sheria na kufafanua mengi zaidi kuhusiana na yale yaliyopelekea kutolewa kwa uamuzi huo na tume ya huduma za mahakama Hussein Mohamed na maelezo mengi zaidi Kamati ya bunge kuhusu haki na sheria ilimhoji msajili wa mahakama Gladys Sholei na kutakujua madai ya ofisali yatolewa dhidi yake na tumia huduma za mahakama. Miongoni mwa masala yalitokeza ni pia kuhusu taratibu za kuita mkutano kama ule wa Mombasa, miongoni mwa masala mengine. There was a purported purchase uh, of a house or a plot in Mombasa in which you were directly involved and it is alleged that you did not follow the procurement procedures and that is the reason why maybe what has happened to you i wish to confirm that the judiciary has not purchased any property in mombasa i have not received any communication at all i still up to this day do not know what charges or what case exists against me whatsoever Aidha msajili mkuu wa mahakama ameeleza kamati hiyo kuwa amekuwa na matatizo kikazi na makamishna Abd Nasir Abdullahi na Muhammad Warsami Commissioner Ahmed Nasir Uh, I've had difficult relations with him in the last uh, several months. Uh, I did mention to him as chair of the finance committee that I didn't realize that the LSK told you about the bu this building. You didn't tell me about it. Then he said, oh, forget about that one. Commissioner Minde, right from day one, that I joined the judiciary, has fought me. There was even a time that I had to write a letter to her copied it to the chief justice and told the chief justice can you explain to commissioner Minde my role vis-a-vis -vis her role i also did indicate in that letter that you can not instruct me as an individual commissioner i get my instructions from a full jsc not one individual commissioner so when i deal with you as an individual i'm dealing with you as a chief magistrate na kuziri kusema kuwa jaji wa Sami amekuwa akionyesha wazi kuhusu kile ambacho amekitaja kama kutofurahishwa na kazi yake na kusaza kuwa hali hii haitamhujumu yeye katika kutekeleza majukumu yake kwa njia ya haki huru na uzingatifu wa sheria. Commissioner Warsame has constantly taunted me about hiring people. And uh, in fact one time he told me we are tujakula matunda ya uhuru ya kazi yako you've never hired anybody for me Mrs. Ocheng used to hire 30 people for me whenever I wanted. Licha ya tumia huduma za mahakama kutuma barua na kusema kuwa hawatahudhuria vikao vya bunge, wakenya wasubiri kuona jinsi suluhu ya masuala haya yatakuwa. Hussein Mohamed, KTN Leo, Nairobi.